Hey everyone, welcome back. And I got some great news actually. Today, a good friend of mine landed a cybersecurity role. Uh, but I want to put it out there that definitely not entry level. He has about 10 years on his belt. He was laid off from his previous job. He has the CISSP. He has C risk. Uh, you can, you know, name a whole bunch of other certifications from other vendors, and he may have it. But at the same time, uh, the organization that he worked for decided not to keep him. Now, for whatever reason that might have happened, it, you know, it wasn't performance related because that wasn't relayed as performance related. But on the positive note. It took him about a couple months, you know, after numerous, numerous interviews. Um, the fact that he was able to even land interviews uh, one after another was pretty impressive in itself. But I want to put that out there right now is that you individuals with, you know, passing Security Plus or, you know, CH and, you know, CC from ISC squared. And you may or may not have experience. And if you do, you might have been competing with this individual who has almost 10 years of experience, CISSP, you name it, he probably has it. Um, and a new organization picked him up, gave him the offer, he signed it, said, okay, when can you start, right? The official start date and all that was all in the works already. So unemployed, and it took him about three, almost four months of continuously looking, putting himself out there, revising resume after resume, fulfilling a requirement of a job description for the most part, right? It wasn't like unique to one resume per job applicant or application. It was, you know, catering towards a specific area of cybersecurity, which in this case was more of a cybersecurity slash engineer architect kind of a role a lead um, familiar with tools sims uh, edrs uh, dlp and things of that nature okay so that's great news that's great but then you come across articles when i keep saying article but it's a reddit post all right it, these are actual human beings and this is not paid advertisement or stories that people are being told to write for money these are real life frustrated individuals that are trying to land a job but at the same time these are not entry-level individuals these people have actual years of experience so let's read on and see what this individual has losing my mind trying to find a job i don't know if anyone else is experiencing this i see it being posted all the time but i just don't understand what is going on I work now as a cyber engineer, but more of a consultant role and have about seven years of experience. The issue is that it appears that all cyber jobs are looking for super specialized and niche technology platforms, and not just roles like cyber analyst, engineer, etc. When is this madness going to stop or am I just losing my mind and is in the wrong and in the wrong? Thanks. Edit it. Uh, I am almost to the point of switching careers. All right. So again, I am not going to delve, dive deep into the comments because comments can go left field all the way to the right field and, and you may not have a resolution. But let me give you my opinion on all that. So yes, I have seen and been noticing organizations are not just hiring the standard, hey, are you a cyber engineer or are you capable of adapting to the new technology or are you familiar with sims? And if you're familiar with this particular sim, you're probably going to be able to utilize other sims, uh, you know, other tools or other platforms that are similar to it, right? Back in the day, it was like uh, Norton Antivirus. If you knew how to use that, you probably knew how to use McAfee. And then on top of that, you probably knew how Defender worked. So the same category of tools, but just different makes and different models. It's like... Do you know how to drive a car? And if you do, right, if you were an Uber driver, it doesn't matter if you drove a Toyota Corolla or a Porsche 911. Well, I know which one you would actually choose, but in reality, if it's your car and you're driving customers around, you're probably gonna choose the Toyota Corolla. But at the same time, my point is, 
you still know how to drive one. Whether you know how to drive it well is a whole different story. But the point is, is both have gas pedals and they both have, you know, brake pedals. One may be a manual or and, and the other one an automatic. So then you have your little challenges and your little differences. But at the same time, it's still a car it has four wheels. It uses gas and it goes from zero to whatever. Right. It goes from point A to point B. You do utilize the tool. You utilize the car It's the same fashion. But he's not wrong. I have been noticing where in the companies are looking for really specific individuals now catered specifically to what they're using. Is that a good thing? Probably not so great, in my opinion, at least. Because now you're just fixated on individuals who have to have experience in these particular product from this specific vendor. And you can't move from that. And if you don't move from that, what if you decide to like change or you know adapt new technology and it's a whole different vendor a whole different product and then you're you're stuck rehiring someone else and you're going to fire the guy that you hired for this specific you know application or tools or, or you know specific set of uh criteria that you hired him for it just doesn't make sense so i i have been noticing that i have seen like a lot of organization are coming straight out they used to hide Right. They used to hide a lot of their uh, what they use in the back end of the organization. They used to hide their whole job description from relaying any information that anyone was doing reconnaissance work would understand and know that, you know, that's the type of area that you would focus on if you wanted to compromise an organization. But it feels like and it seems like organizations are straight out coming and saying, Oh, we need someone who specializes in Azure. Or oh, we need someone who specializes in AWS. Like, like, do you not have any privacy anymore? Like, are you just coming straight out and saying, oh, we're using CrowdStrike, we're using Azure, we're using Splunk. Wow. Like, you, you just, now you, it, it's an advantage to the individual who's applying because then you know right away if you're a good fit or not. But then at the same time, it's like, are you not willing to train people or are you not willing to take someone who doesn't know those products and, and may have some similar experience using other tools you know so and i and again i i have been seeing a lot of those uh does it make any sense to me yes and no and the reason why i'm gonna you know explain it really high level is that organizations are trying to cut through the bullshit of finding individuals and and trying to figure out if you know it or not they basically just putting it all out there and saying, either you know it, apply. If you don't, don't even bother. And, and that's what I'm sensing right now from organizations looking to hire cybersecurity uh, professionals, individuals in this field. And if you don't have any of the criteria that they're looking for, you may probably have like, you know, four out of the five or maybe like three out of the five maybe, right? Uh, you know, you're proficient in CrowdStrike, you're proficient in Splunk, and you're proficient in, in some, a you dabbled in some AWS, and but at the same time, they're using Google Cloud, and they're also using like other, you know, uh, Palo Alto firewalls that, that you've never seen or touched in your life. And, and they may have a strong percentage of what they're looking for in that individual. Or, and then you're competing against someone that may have a little bit of experience in everything that that they mentioned in in their job description and they may be kind of intrigued with that one and say hey this this person actually knows everything that we're using he may be a better fit right you see you see what i mean so going back to that reddit post yeah i i feel that frustration i see it uh i don't blame him he is not wrong there is it, it seems like there's no room for like growth right because everyone is asking for something so specific that you're not able to grow with the organization as it's shifting or have an opportunity to learn the new product or tools that are, that are beyond what you have on your resume and uh, the best way i could actually put this uh, besides the car analogy is that like if a girl which probably nowadays like you know these dating apps like you're you're pre-populating all the information prior to going on a date or meeting this person like you have to have these criterias um you know way back when th th all that didn't exist and you kind of just had to wing it right you just had to take a chance on things 
But now it's like everything is all laid out in front of you and, and you have to know it or you have to have it, that skill set or the requirements of what these individuals are looking for before you can continue. So this person is not wrong. That's, that's how I see it as well. Uh, I've been noticing a lot, a lot of job descriptions. You start reading into more job descriptions um, on job platforms, uh, job forms, whatever it is. You are starting to see very, very niche, like he's saying, very niche, very specific skill sets and very specific vendors and tools that are being mentioned in the job description. And now that's like a turnoff for many individuals who do not have that skill set. And if you choose to lie on it and you get called out, you know, if you do get called for an interview and you get called out and they, they start asking you some technical aspect of it. Yeah, you're, you're pretty much in the hole at that point. So, um, yeah, it, it's a it's a tough market again. And that's a, apparently what the new trends are is uh, blasting everything that you use on the Web on the job description. And if someone has it, by all means, apply and we may just hire you for that. All right. Thank you guys for being here and please hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Take care.